even has a unique spot in the history of this election. Bill Clinton met his wife Hillary here in New Haven at Yale. News 8 Scott McDonald has a look at some Clinton history in tonight's Closer Look. In fact, could you imagine Bill and Hillary Clinton walking through that gate and holding hands? Long before presidential inaugurations, even before Bill Clinton's time as governor of Arkansas. Lots of important moments on this campus for that couple, huh? Yes, there is. They first met here when they were both in law school. The story goes that Hillary Rodham met Bill Clinton at the Yale Law Library. So Hillary actually got up and walked across the room and said, I think if you keep staring at me, I'm going to continue to stare at you, so you should know my name. I'm Hillary Rodham. And that's how they met. Colleen O'Connor guides tour groups across New Haven, pointing out the couple's favorite spots. That one of their very first dates was over at the Lincoln Theater. By getting together to eat at places like Basil's Restaurant, dates to the Yale Art Gallery, along with the work that steered their careers. On Church Street, you'll see the federal courthouse where Hillary actually helped work when they, try, they tried the eight Black Panthers here in New Haven. Moments Bill Clinton referenced a few years ago in New Haven. 43 years ago, I met Hillary. And uh, we'll soon celebrate our 39th anniversary. And even more important, God willing, we'll soon be grandparents. It all, and, uh, it all started here. Both men back with trips to Frank Pepe's Pizza. Hello, Bridgeport! And rallies as Hillary Rodham Clinton now looks to become the nation's next and first female president. Two powerful careers and two lives that may have never intersected, if not, for New Haven. It says a lot for New Haven. It says a lot for Yale. It shows that Yale can, can bring up great um, students, students that turn into great people. In New Haven, Scott McDonald, News 8.